Yo, what's going on, guys? Phantom here. Welcome back to another Overwatch Workshop video. Today, I'm bringing you guys a video on how to do custom abilities. So let's get straight into it. So basically, you're going to hit a button to activate an ability. Then you're gonna have what your ability does. Then finally, there's gonna be a cooldown, even with text at the top telling you when your ability is ready and all that good stuff. So I spent a lot of time on this. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave a code. I don't want to self-plug too much, but uh, last video, I showed you guys how to create a bot. If you guys are interested in that, go check it out. It's pretty cool. All right, getting into today's video. My example is a double jump ability and a freeze ability. The freeze, we're going to cover it last because it's a more complicated ability. Uh, we're going to start with the double jump, which is relatively easy. So when we open this up, we have, first of all, I'm going each player all, which probably just leave alone unless you want it to be on one, only one team. And you have the hero you want the ability to work on. I'm doing Lucio. You could change this if you want. Now we have the button. So in my case, I have the button on melee, which probably isn't the best idea. I'm going to put it on interact. There we go. Uh, interact is for me E. It's whatever your interact button is. If you're on console, that's going to be different as well. I think it's the analog stick if you hit down on it. But yeah, whatever the interact button is, which is the same button to go through a sim teleport, that's the button. So when the player playing Lucio, whenever Lucio hits this button, interact, the following actions will occur. Okay, to get into this, we're going to break this down. I'm going to disable the complicated stuff. There you go. I want you guys just to focus on the things that are highlighted. So the first thing that happens when Lucio hits this button is it activates two jumps vertical speed 200%, meaning he has double jump. He could jump super high and he's going to wait five seconds. And wait, I didn't want that either. It's going to wait five seconds and then set it back to the normal 100% speed. Then it's going to wait 20 seconds and end. So what's going on here is this is the start of the ability. This is how long the ability lasts for. So it's going to last for five seconds. Then it's going to go back to the previous. Then this is going to be the cooldown phase, 20 seconds. So depending on, so now here is where you're going to want to come in and change these numbers because depending on how long you want your ability to last and how long you want the cooldown to be, you're going to want to change these wait times. So let's just say I want the ability to only last for three seconds and have a 10 second cooldown. You would just do that. Oh, not 109. 10 seconds. So now it lasts for three seconds and has a 10 second cooldown. This stuff here, these effects, is just to make it look cool. We could just have a create effect. It's like a green little effect while it's while you have double jump. And I assign the variable A to this create effect. So then we could destroy it later on. And I just say destroy variable A. Over here we have also a play effect. It's a sound. This is an indicator that your effect is active. Then we have a debuff impact sound, which is an indicator that your ability has ended. Then we have a buff explosion sound, which just tells you that your ability is ready to use again. So hopefully that made sense. Um, to keep this simple, the main things you're gonna wanna change here is the button if you want to, the hero up here, and probably just this right here. You don't have to do set vertical speed. Let's just say you wanna do set damage. Set damage dealt. 200%. Then we could change the one below here that says set vertical. Put this on damage dealt as well and put that on 100. So now it's a double damage effect. You have double damage, 200% damage you're dealing. Then that lasts for three seconds and it goes back to normal. So you could change those two things. And then, like I said before, the how long it lasts and the cooldown phase. We're going to move on to the next step, which is the cooldown text, which is going to be pretty cool. All right, guys, the next thing is the cooldown so let's open this up and you're gonna see here we have the same hero and the buttons also have to match so i'm gonna put this on interact just like this one is on so now that those conditions are matched now we have the actions that follow this wait time right here is going to match the wait time here so as you can see they both match they're both five but if i was to put this on three i would also have to match it here and put this on three but i'm gonna leave it on five change that back to five okay so those two match as well as these two match so 20 let me check back over here it's 20 so yeah the weights all match so let's just say i changed the cooldown to 15 seconds like that i changed the cooldown to 15 seconds here are the things i'm gonna have to change here i'm gonna have to go over here and change this one that says 20 to 15. Uh, this one that says 20 to 15. And the weight to 15. That's everything I'll have to change to make this a 15 second cooldown. Just so you guys know, that's how you would do it. 
so with all these texts you're basically just going to want to go in and change this right here to the what you want to call your ability and then you leave everything else so the status and the active leave alone and in here change that to whatever you want and over here change that but here the it's not the melee button i'm gonna change this to uh, interact interact now the final step is to grab these last two copy it head over to the last rule the start delete these two and paste now it is done basically what this rule is for is this is at the start of the game for the text to show up because at the start of the game you're not going to see the text only when you use the ability and you're not going to know to use the ability if you don't see the text i don't know it's hard to explain but <laughs> just do what i said and it'll work good so yeah uh that's basically it i'm gonna hopefully you guys understood something out of that the main thing you just have to change is the uh the main thing you gotta change is the name of your ability and the button uh, that you want it to be on. That's really it. Now we're going to test it out. As you can see, we're gonna go to Lucio, my boy. And there it is at the top. We see high jump button interact. So that's what I meant by the button. It says that. And so now if I was hit the interact button, now it says active. I could jump twice as high for five seconds. Then now we're in the cooldown phase. The ability is off and we have a time there of our cooldown. Pretty cool. It works really well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys understood something out of that. Okay, we're moving on to the Winston ability. Real quick, editor here. I actually decided to split this Winston freeze ability into two teams because it wasn't working properly. Sometimes it would actually freeze the player by accident. So I decided to split it into two teams so that doesn't happen anymore. So if you're wondering why well, there's two rules, there's team one and team two, that's why. That's it. Uh, yeah, continuing the video. It doesn't really mess with anything. It's just a little thing I had to add in, which is a little more complicated, but you guys will get the hang of it. So let's start. The first thing that's different is the event. It's player took damage. What this uh, Winston ability does is whenever Winston punches an enemy, it freezes them for a little while. So that's what the ability is. If they hit the melee button and somebody took damage, which is basically just saying they hit them with their fist, it's going to have these actions follow which is set status event player frozen for five seconds you could change this value if you want but you're gonna have to change the wait time matching it so if i wanted to do a three second freeze i'm gonna have to change the wait time of three seconds as well just so you guys know and you guys remember that this wait right here the last wait before the end is the one that is the cooldown phase so if you guys want to also change that you could as well but how it's set up right now is he gets frozen for five seconds the enemy and there's going to be some effects here that play pretty cool also i have the damage dealt of winston go up to 120 percent for a little while then when it goes back to 100 the player is not frozen anymore it plays another effect saying it's gone cooldown phase begins and then you know you guys know how this goes now let's open up the cooldown and you're going to see we actually use some different variables here like fg because uh like fg and that's because we can't have the same variables as the other one so i have the name of the ability freeze if you want to change it make sure to of course change it on each one and the button is set to melee and that's basically it and then of course we copy these last two delete these two and paste but in this case i don't need to do that because i didn't change the last two so they're the same so I'll just leave it alone and yeah, that's basically it, guys. This is done. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. Here is our test. I'm going to have to put an AI on the other team just so I could punch him and see if it works. And there we go. We have an Anna to test this against. Here comes the fire music. Yeah. All right. And now we have our freeze ability. What's cool about this is we could hit melee. It's not going to activate the ability. The ability only activates once we actually hit an enemy player, which is pretty cool. Come here, Anna. Boom. It has like a nice little like blue effect. I don't know what it's called, man. It's like a blue wing effect. That's basically all that's to it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you understood it. It was a little hard for me to explain some of the things. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys got a good understanding. And yeah, check out my last video if you want as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video, in the next Overwatch workshop video. Peace out.